Hey, what's up guys? This is Eric over here at EM Motors and Launch Vans. Just uh, finished up this uh, 2023 170 regular length in the all-wheel drive high output four-cylinder turbo. Um, this is uh, our Dream Builder package with uh, I think three uh, upgrades. Um, so we haven't, I don't think we've really did a video of a 170 Dream Builder yet. Most of them have been 144 chassis. So uh, anyway, I figured I'd do a quick video on this one and kind of show you what a 170 Dream Builder looks like. Um, we came up with the Dream Builder because we get a lot of people that just want the bare necessities, uh, you know, professionally done um, so they can get out and enjoy the van. Uh, at a less expensive price point and then also we've uh, made it to where you can it's kind of future proof so you can add pretty much anything you want and make it a full custom at any point whether we do it you do it or you have another builder do it and then we do warranty our uh, workmanship for the lifetime of the original owner so as long as you own this van I don't care if it's 10 years later we'll fix uh, any any issues that it may have uh, so pretty cool there. Um, so yeah, so our dream builder starts usually from a, uh, uh, a empty cargo van. You could, you can bring us your van as well. Every once in a while, uh, we'll have some customers bring us a van, but, uh, we usually have a few chassis to choose from. We bring them in pretty loaded. So, uh, you know, pretty high MSRP. You don't need to. You can save some money if you want to and, and bring in something that's less expensive or even a used van. We've done some used stuff before, so happy to, to do a, a build package on anything you bring us as well. But uh, um, basically, yeah, most of them start as an empty cargo van. Of course, we do two CR Lawrence windows, the T-vent windows in the sliding door and on here, the driver's side. Um, this customer elected for an upgrade for the 10 by 33 awning windows. They elected for uh, the rear tire carrier um, upgrade from Alvans. And then this one also has uh, S&B's 45 gallon, because it's a 23, their fuel tank. So they're going to be able to have some pretty awesome range. I don't know if you can see that under there. It's too bright outside to see my screen. Um, our chassis, we we put uh, five wheels and tires on, so it doesn't include. It's not included in our Dream Builder package, but uh, we can handle that if you if you bring us your van without some wheels and tires if you want them. But those are the Arsenal wheels from Black Rhino, and they're wrapped uh, with uh, BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires which work really good in the snow really good off-road and they're quiet on the highway um, and they are snow rated so they do really well in the snow but uh, um, has five of those we usually mount the fifth underneath where the factory mounts it here in the back but again you can elect to, to add some additional options to the dream builder if you want to um, on the outside uh, we do, uh, well, you can kind of see the Max Air Fan. Uh, we do the uh, Max Air Fan Deluxe, the 7500K. Um, it's cool because you can have those open while you travel down the road or when it's raining. You don't have to worry about the shroud being destroyed <laughs> from the wind. Um, and then it's 10 speed intake or exhaust. So you can kind of fine tune what setting you want it on. And then it has a remote and an auto mode. So you can put it in auto mode and just have it kick on and off based on what temperature you set it to. So pretty cool there. Um, also on the roof that you don't see, we have a roof gland. It's pre-wired for solar. So the roof gland's already there in place. The hole's been cut and sealed. You have your wires ready to be connected uh, to a solar panel up top. And then we run the wires to the factory uh, driver's seat base. That's where you would add a uh, solar controller and tie it into the to the electrical system. We do do a house battery. Uh, so we have a 100 amp hour AGM battery under the driver's seat. Or sorry, passenger seat. Let's 
So 100 amp hour uh, battery under here, blue C fuse, fuse block, and your S-bar diesel heater. Um, so pretty cool. Fan's nice and loaded, all the, all the goodies. Um, but yeah, so S-bar diesel heater with the Easy Start Pro Controller. Best of the best there. We do have a battery monitor, so you can monitor uh, what's going on here, how much you have going out or coming in, and then your percentage. So super cool there. Here's your S-bar Easy Start Pro Controller. We love those because you can uh, set them on timers, run it on infinity like your thermostat at home to kick on and off based on the temperature you set. So that's super nice. Um, but uh, yeah, so yeah, so S bar there. We insulate and sound dampen everywhere, floor, ceiling, uh, and the walls. We use kill mat sound dampening material, and then we use Havelock wool um, everywhere for the insulation. Uh, we strategically place. Uh, outlets and USBs for uh, your 12 volt and USB slash USB-C now in different places. So no matter, like if you put a bench here in this location, you're ready to go uh, to have power. You can run your fridge up front if you have a 12 volt fridge or in the back, or we have some in the garage too. And then we also have uh, plugins by your bed there. And then that blue switch there, blue light on is the light switch. So you can turn your lights on from bed or when you come in the van. And then we have a dimmer. So you can dim these lights uh, from the dimmer. So that helps at night when it's a little bit too bright. You can soften the lights up. Um, commercial lawn seal flooring. This is the uh, lawn ridge pattern. And I think it's smoky. Or smoke or something like that the color it's pretty much black speckled some white speckle in it uh, we add the step extension so you can have uh, some storage for some dirty shoes leashes all kinds of stuff like that and then if you do want a future build a galley in the doorway there it's ready to go uh, so we think about that we have l track uh, recessed in the floor in the garage for mounting your bikes and fork mounts or to be able to kind of um, tie down, you know, some gear boxes that you or totes and things like that that you'll have. We set the bed to about 36 and a half or so clearance underneath, so it'll accommodate pretty much all frame sizes of bikes under the bed, which is awesome. It's a three-panel removable bed platform and three-panel mattress. So if you do need to haul or move somebody or dirt bikes stuff like that, you can get that thing out of your way. Uh, so super cool there. Um, let's see here. What else? What else is there? Talked about the heater. Yeah, so you can add overhead shelves here, of course, if you wanted to. L track. Oh, so behind the walls uh, that you can't see, we have bracing on the ceiling, in the corner, and on the walls. And so you can, uh, um, you know, it's it's intended to add cabinets or L track later, uh, and tie into that and have that structure and strength. So uh, that's pretty cool. We try to think think ahead, again, trying to future proof the the van, make it to make it as easy as possible to upgrade in the future, whether it's us or you that do it. Uh, so, yeah, got the nice view. It's nice to have these ten by thirty threes for. A little additional uh, ventilation, cross ventilation um, with the fan at night, or uh, to be able to see out of out of the windows too. It's kind of nice. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that pretty much covers this. most everything. I just wanted to show you a 170, so you can kind of see the extra room you have to upgrade, whether it's kitchen cabinets. Uh, bench seats, all kinds of stuff there. So you have lots of room in the 170 chassis. 
So I don't think we've done a video with the 170 Dream Builder yet. So, um, but yeah, our Dream Builder packages start at 35,000. Um, with the way you see them, minus those three options that I mentioned earlier. And so, uh, lifetime warranty, you know, all the hard work and, and a lot of the labor has been done with the hand fitting, uh, of each panel because the vans are a little different each van. So we hand fit, uh, all our panels to fit, uh, just cause I'm, I'm picky, but, uh, yeah, this thing turned out awesome. The customers are stoked to pick it up, so I wanted to just shoot a video real quick, show you what a 170 Dream Builder looks like. And uh, if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments below where I check them out, or feel free to give us a call, 208-853-2886. Uh, Our website, we do have a bunch of used vans built and empty uh, on a regular basis, is uh, emmotorsboise.com. And then our build website for launch vans is launchvans.com. So check us out there on social media and stuff and say hello. But yeah, let us know what your thoughts are. If we can help you in any way, feel free to reach out, guys. Appreciate you uh, your time and taking a look. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you a little bit later, man.